All right. So now, what do you think the next thing I want to do is? Really? Is that going to stay together like that? It's a constraint. Need some screws on here, right? That might be nice. So I want to put. And look at those holes; they're like not even the same size. <clears throat> so I want to put quarter twenty screws through them. So I'm going to double click on this part and see how I can grade everything else out. Because now I've activated this part. And if I look in the browser, instead of showing me the constraints, now it shows me the features that are in that part. So now I can go to that hole. I can tell it that I want to be a clearance hole for a quarter inch. I might as well fix that while I'm here. And then I'll return. Go from that part to those. Clearance hole, quarter inch. I don't know who made this stuff. Hit return. So now I've got clearance holes through both parts. They're sized for a quarter inch hole or a quarter inch bolt. So where am I going to get a quarter inch bolt? Oh, Kathy. Big Master. Oh, my master. I'm going to go to the internet. Actually, how long a bolt do I need? Depends measure, on the, so M measure, that face, that face, so I need at least 0.418 to get through it, so at least half an inch to get through it, plus whatever the nut is, so maybe I'll find a nut first, so I'll go up here, go to Big Master, nuts, X nut. Go down here to uh, quarter twenty. Okay, grade five. See over here on the list, I'm picking what I want. Um, and I'll just do it plain. I'll do a 7 16th normal. <clears throat> and I want it right handed. There we go. Got down to one part. Click on the part number. And click CAD. Right here. See, it says CAD. Click there. And ta da. I get a nice drawing of it. I want a 3D model, right? That'd be nice. So I'm going to pick an SAT file. I want to save. And I'm going to hit OK. And it downloaded it with the part number as the file name. See that? Where did it put this? On your download file. Yeah. But if I right click on it and just say open containing folder, it takes me to my download folder. There it is. It's going to. Come on. That's awesome. I was just wanting to read and name it. Where do I need to put this file? In my project folder. So I want to copy this this file into my product folder when it unfreezes. <laughs> so while that's going, I look at that height. It's seven thirty seconds. So yeah.
It's not fast enough for you, huh? One. All right, we'll talk about this in a little bit.